welcome to the land of Lamography. Thank you very much. So I'm Mark Wallace. Tell us your name. My name is Uli Barta and I run the Lomographic Society here in the U.S. Um, okay. as the U.S. headquarters. So you're like a big wig Lomo person. Very big wig, yes. Very big wig. She's in charge. <laughs> Okay, tell us a little bit about Lomography. It's, it's, uh, you, you talk about it. Lomography is really uh, analog photography in a snapshot kind of way. We develop only analog cameras, 35 millimeter, 120, all different kinds of styles, and we, I show you some later. So show me uh, one, just so we can have a look at it. Uh, this would be the Diana camera with an instant back, so you can actually take instant pictures with like Fuji Polaroid? Mini Instax, yes. Yay, Polaroid's have, coming back. Uh, um, uh, instant photography on the Diana camera, which really is a medium format camera. And this thing looks really plastic to me. Medium it is format, plastic, right? Uh, it is a plastic camera, um, has a couple of added functionalities, like you can take the lens off and you have a pinhole camera. It uh, can use instant film, it can use 35 millimeter film, but generally 120 medium format. Nice, okay, and then we have a bunch of new stuff back here that's yeah. a really very colorful. Let's go take Who a look at the that. Most our Diana Mini camera, excuse me, it's the Diana Mini camera, which is based on the original Diana, but it shoots on 35 millimeter. Ah. So it's super tiny, super cute, super nice. And is this Third, electronic flash? No, all analog. All uh, analog. It's like, it's a uh, battery charge. But oh. the great thing about this camera is that it actually shoots half frame and square format. Ah, so okay. We have a nice example of the pictures that you get here. This would be square photos, square, uh, pictures and then the half frame basically exposes one negative um, half size so you have 72 images on one roll of film so of 35 millimeter film the cameras are really groovy and cool but tell me a little bit about the philosophy of uh, lomography each of our cameras really has a concept so they are plastic cameras they're simple cameras but we actually put a lot of thought into our cameras so each of the camera has a story um, uh, each of the cameras really has a concept how to best use it. Um, uh, we always invite our community to contribute uh, tips and tricks and knowledge to the platform of Lomography.com where then all these uh, amassed information is available for everybody else. Right, we and so Lomography is more of a it's storytelling and a community. So there are people from all it's over the world. It's communication through images. Right. We provide the tools and the cameras. We try to develop one or two new ones every year. But it's really about exchanging pictures. We offer a lot of online photo competitions. You swap pictures with people from all over the world. And this is really Lomography as, as a movement. Right. And how difficult is it to use one of these cameras? What are the steps involved? You I'm a complete it, photography idiot. <laughs> You too. click, you expose, and you get the most incredible pictures. That's all there is to it. That's all you there is to it. Just shoot. You point Don't and think, shoot. shoot. Don't think, just shoot.